They got Border Patrol 200 miles inside Texas harassing citizens. Uh, in San Antonio, they've got the Air Force uh, MPs out on the street searching people. And they come over with sidearms in America and go, we're going to search at the Riverwalk. I mean, this country is going into martial law. In the five minutes we've got left with you here, uh, John of TSA out of our pants, what else is going on with the TSA? You, you mentioned earlier there's a revolt against them, uh, and, and they're trying to tell them, you know, basically that they've got to grow harder. So we, we saw recently that the TSA has quietly disciplined and fired a bunch of TSA screeners in the state of Florida. Um, they, they haven't gone as far as to say exactly why they were, were disciplined, other than to say that they weren't following uh, proper procedures. And uh, in, the last, in the last few months, I've interviewed several TSA screeners that have come to me to, to tell me stories of TSA abuse. And one thing that I've learned is that these, these guys actually don't like the body scanners. They don't like the groping. 99% of, of, of TSA screeners are uh, disgusted by what they have to do, and they're disgusted by how they're treated by the public as a result, and you know, rightfully so. Um, you spend all day groping people, and you're going to get a lot of complaints about, you know, why are you being such a fascist, and why is this becoming a police state, and why are you helping? Um, you know, they, people don't like that. The, the people that work with the TSA um, wish that it would go back to the way it was, uh, you know, right before the TSA started, where where there was normal metal detectors, if there were normal pat downs, if there was something that, that needed to be resolved, and, and that's it. Um, so apparently there were several screeners that, that refused to follow a procedure. We don't know exactly what happened yet, and the TSA is trying not to tell us, um, but we, there's, there's a lot of investigation going on. It's going to come out sooner or later. Well, let me, let me raise this next point since you mentioned that, Mr. Corbett, that we know there was a revolt in Boston because they put scanners in eight years ago, and they've had huge cancer clusters, seven-fold increase. We also know that a lot of TSA agents ask for my autograph. They say, hey, we don't like what's happening. But it's always the supervisor when you opt out that charges over who's got the handlebar mustache or you know, looks like a pedo. And now we learn all over the country they are pedophiles. The leaders, the commanders of the TSA and the commanders of the gates in Pennsylvania and Dallas and all over are pedophiles, convicted or defrocked pedophiles of small children. So the commanders are pedophiles, and what the TSA is at the airports is a testing ground to, f to find the army of darkness that will carry out the new ground war at the checkpoints against the American people. So the cops will stand, by stand back. They'll deliver you to the armored rape room on the side of the highway. I'm not kidding, folks. I'm serious. Yeah, I mean, it, it does seem that way, and, and you can imagine the, 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 these Defox uh, priest or, or other sex offenders sit in their little manager's office uh, watching on camera the little boys and little girls being groped by, by their underling. Um, I, I've had a lot of problems with, and, and I've seen a lot of other people have problems with, these, these mid-level supervisors. Um, they they seem, to, seem to have this, this kind of disregard for the people when, when complaints are made that we don't even see at the front The line. pedo visors. Sure, pedophiles helpers. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. You don't even see that that kind of attitude usually from from the front line, the, the blue shirted people that that are running the checkpoints. Usually, um, it, it's kind of just a "we have to do our job" attitude. And, and and if you've ever gotten a pat down that that didn't involve touching your genitals, um, that's exactly why. It's not it's not because the TSA wasn't supposed to touch your genitals. It's because these screeners just chose not to, um, because they they're sick and tired of touching people's balls all day long, essentially. Um, these these mid-level supervisors are, are a little bit different. We call them transportation security managers, and above them they have the, the federal security directors, the FSDs. Uh, and these people actually set what, what the local policy is, and they ensure that, that your group is nice and thorough. Well, I want to be clear. Ron Paul has said it, Jesse Ventura. I've witnessed it repeatedly with Ventura. They, they, uh, well, Miss USA described it as being lifted off the ground. They went in her pants and went in her body. Okay, and that's what the feds are telling them to do. I want to finish up for a few minutes with you, then Big Bilderberg breaking news and more. We'll even take some calls. 800 259 9231 coming up. A couple more minutes with our guest. 800 259 9231. Look at the skyline of Austin, Texas out there as we go to break. We'll show you the sky cam. We're only like five miles away from the command center, Infowars.com. 
Man, I am fired up. Uh, John Corbett, an evil person that doesn't like being groped by weirdos, violating his Fourth Amendment, and doesn't like being radiated in strip searches, and being lied to constantly, or illegal, not even cops, federally, out of their jurisdiction, setting up checkpoints everywhere across the United States. He is bad. So am I. We're all horrible here. We should just love all the things they're doing to us. In closing, sir, other tidbits, other, other things people should know about out there, because here's my bottom line. Here, and I want you to comment on this and then give us any other little tidbits you've got. Here's my bottom line. If they fail at the airports and the streets, their federal takeover is over. This is the martial law rollout. They're admitting they're going to use the Pentagon against us. Huge treason is happening. But if they can't get average law-abiding citizens who aren't used to the system, aren't used to a perp walk, a perp lineup, I mean, that's what this is, a custodial arrest. They can't get their martial law in. Everything rests on defeating the TSA. That's why I salute DrudgeReport.com and WorldNetDaily.com and InfoWars.com and all of you out there fighting these monsters from the wilderness. We're starting to have victories. Do you agree with that statement, and are we having victories, Mr. Corbett of TSA, out of our pants, you dirty perverts? I, I think we are having victories. Um, you know, one of the things that I like to tell people is, is take that, in, if you see something, say something adage, and, and, and use it for good. So if, if you see that there's a Customs and Border Patrol agent outside of where he's supposed to be, say something. Go up to him, ask him what he's doing there. Take his picture. Make him uncomfortable with what he's doing. Let him know that the citizens are actually watching. When I approached the TSA inspectors that were outside the music festival, they were, they were shocked that anyone had, had even heard of what a Viper team was. Um, so it's about time we take a little closer look. What, what is that patch on the side of that police officer's uniform that, that you don't recognize? Figure it out. Ask them. Um, and and this, the same in the airport. The, the, the goal is, is to take up as, as, as much of their time as possible. So if you can opt out of a body scanner, do so. Because you know what? They're going to grope you anyway. About half the people that go through the body scanners end up being, being patted down anyway because they say there's something the body scanner couldn't detect on you. Because these things don't actually well, if, work. Well, look, if you're good looking... If you're a good-looking woman, it's over. You're getting hardcore grub down. Yep, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, see, you might as well not give them a nude picture in the process as well. Um, the fact of the matter is the TSA needs to screen about one passenger every 10 seconds at our nation's checkpoints in order to not have the line back up and people miss their flight. It takes about five minutes to do a full pat-down if you opt out of a search. So if only a, a small percentage of people actually opted out of the body scanners, they have to stop using them. Um, when, whenever an opt-out happens in an airport, you'll see that people start getting redirected to the metal detector lines because they, they, they can't uh, handle you, the, the time. You just hit the key. That's why my crew and, other, and everybody I know, when you fly out of Austin, if you do the body scanner, most of the time they grope you anyways. When you say no, they put you behind a line, try to make you miss your flight and laugh at you and keep saying you to miss your flight, going to miss your flight, and laugh, especially there's a guy with Rastafarian hair, I know he watches, uh, 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 you, know, you know, who thinks it's very, very funny uh, at the Bergstrom, but they all do it. And one guy put his glove on and said, it's time for my pleasure with McBreen and Marcos uh, when we sent him to, uh, uh, up to Georgia to cover the, you know, the, the army was involved in killing the guy that wouldn't stop having chickens legally, all part of the Homeland Security takeover. Yeah, you heard it here, murdering us, all being announced here. And so, yes, this is how we resist. That's why when they had National Opt-Out Day, they just stopped scanning for five days because they knew it would show that they were a joke, but it also shows the terror threat's fake because how could they just turn them off for five days? It shows it is a power grab scam. You're right. Every, in fact, I think I'm going to start flying more again and just opting out with pleasure everywhere and just get there two hours early, make, the, make a big, long scene out of it with these terrorist helpers. Go ahead. Absolutely, Alex. Go ahead, John. And if you encounter screeners like that in the, in the future that, that are telling you about how they're going to get pleasure out of it and how they're going to make you miss your flight, ask for a law enforcement officer. Call the police. And, and honestly, if, if you seem like you're, you're calm and, and in control of yourself, um, the, the police don't like the TSA. Um, the, the police think that the TSA are encroaching on them. And, and yes, they, they, if, if you're throwing a fit at the airport, they're going to take you away in handcuffs. But if you say, officer, I'd just like someone to watch this pat down because I've been abused by TSA pat downs before and I'd like you to make sure that won't happen. 
guess what? Now, now that's increased the time from 5 to 15 minutes that the TSA has you there, and they're scanning that many fewer people. Um, you know, we, we need another national opt-out day. We need to do this regularly. Uh, and and if, if possible, every day should be opt-out day for, for, for anyone that's a frequent flyer. Just come an extra 10 minutes early to the airport. It's really not a big deal. And if they say, do you want to fly today? Are you worried you're going to miss your flight? Just tell them, eh, it doesn't really matter. I can catch the next one. And then they drop that line. Absolutely. And uh, you know, I sit there and say, you know, you're all getting radiated. What you're doing is illegal. This is a federal power grab. You know you're on the streets. Do you want to live in a country like this? And they bring the, the pedo supervisor over. Ah, oh, you're a troublemaker. Huh? And I go, you no, know, I'm an American citizen, not a traitor like you. And I just real, <laughs> we're going to beat you, scum. There ain't nothing you're going to do. The republic is rising, and you need to get that through your little mackerel brain. All right, yeah. well, uh, John Corbett, give us, give us the exact URL of your uh, site, your lawsuits, your slamming and mamming of the enemy. Yep, it's tsaoutofourpants.wordpress.com, and on there you can, you can find all sorts of legal updates about what we're doing against the TSA, and also just general general things that are that are going on, the new, <clears throat> new ways of encroaching on your freedom, and kind of how to how to defend against that, what what you can do uh, to to limit how how much groping you're going to get, and and so forth. Well done. I appreciate you joining us. Thanks, all right, let's jam in four again. or five calls. Thank you so much, sir. And again, folks, if it sounds like we're walking over each other, there's about a second and a half delay with me. He's on Skype. He's got a half second delay, so it, it causes some of that. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?